Hello! How are you guys doing today? Mwah. I missed you so, 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 so much, you guys. I am so sorry that you guys haven't seen me for a while. I've been dealing with a few things and I'd rather just not come on camera if I'm going through something. But I'm back. Everything is okay. We're going to chat. We're going to talk about some things. As you can see, I have eggs here and be love sauce. I was craving this so bad. I'm no longer vegan. I will tell you what happened as to why I'm not vegan anymore. Um, this might be a long video because I have to update you guys on a lot of things. Um, yes, you guys. My locks are coming together. I'm not 100% comfortable with them yet. I'm still trying to get used to them and start liking them and stuff like that. I have my days. Some days I look at them and I'm like, oh, that's cute. Then other days I'm just like, this looks a mess. So it takes some time to get used to. Yeah, I have to update you guys on some things. How are you guys? First of all, how y'all been? I've been... <sighs> We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. So we got B-Love sauce, you guys, all the way in Barbados. We got B-Love sauce, extra onions, extra spicy. We have 12 hard-boiled eggs, and I have some corn here. Tomorrow, we're actually having some seafood, so stay tuned for that tomorrow. Make sure you guys stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Let me say my blessing, and let's get into this food. Father, thank you so much for this food that I'm about to receive, I ask that it's nourishment to my body. Bless the ones who do not have, in Jesus' precious name, amen. Oh my God, you guys, it's been four, five, has it been five months or four months? It has been four months since I've had any meat. I'm gonna show you guys a picture of my body right here. Okay, but now we're gonna add some protein. Um, I'll tell you guys what happened. So here is the eggs. I'm so excited. Oh God, this sauce, y'all. Long. <laughs> it's been so long. Four long months. Oh God. Okay. Oh my God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I gotta get a good piece. I gotta get a good onion. I gotta get everything on there. Mm, 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 mm. I'm ready. Spicy. <laughs> Y'all don't laugh at me, please. I'm so goofy. Cause it's really been that long. It's like Mm. Mm. 
Y'all, this corn was 20 something dollars for a pack of six. A pack of six pieces of corn. Sweet frozen corn was $20. I will talk to y'all in a minute. Mm. Give me one second, y'all. Mm. Good Lord. Mm. Mm. I don't know if y'all know this about me, but I love eggs. I love hard boiled eggs. When I tell you, this is everything. This is everything. Oh, my Lord. Mm. Oh, God, yes. Whew. I want all of that. I want all of that on my egg. Ooh, hallelujah. Mm. Y'all, look. Let me tell y'all what's been going on. So, I have been in Barbados for two months now. Time flies. And my barrel literally just got here today. I got a call on, I think, September 9th. Mm. I had a call, I think it was like September 9th or something like that. It was the beginning of September. Telling me that my barrel was on the island and I can come pick up my papers. So I'm excited. I'm like, yay, finally. I've been waiting for so long. The cats need their food. I bought 36 pounds. I didn't know it was that much. I didn't know it was that many pounds of cat food in my barrel. But it was 36 pounds of cat food. So I go get my papers and I set it up to the point where they can clear it through customs. Where I don't have to go in there, take everything out my barrel myself. And they can just clear it for me. So I paid a certain amount for that. As they're going through my barrel, they tell me that I need a cat food import permit First, she said, you need a cat import permit um, when she called me. I was like, no problem. I have the import permit for them to come into the country. That's what I thought she was talking about. But she was talking about a cat food import permit, and she didn't say that. So I had to go find where I would do the cat import permit. I paid a fee for that, which that wasn't expensive. So thank God for that. I send it back to them, and it's days and days and days going by. And I'm like, has anybody received the paperwork? Is it clear? Is everything, do they need anything else? Mm. 
Mm. I'm like, do they need anything else? What's going on? Why is it taking so long? I call, I asked the lady, um, is there anything else? She was like, days went by. I had to update, I had to get the update from her by calling. So days go by. I'm like, hi, you know, this is such and such. Is any is any is everything okay with the barrel? Do we need anything else? Is is there a reason why it's being held? She was like, Yeah, they just cleared it. It'll be there to you tomorrow. Tomorrow came and went. So me and the cats didn't have no food. The cats didn't have no food. I didn't have no food because I was thinking that the barrel was here. I should have it any day now. So I didn't go grocery shopping. I had only bought like a little bit of food just to last me until I think the barrel was coming. So still no barrel, still no nothing. So Saturday, my driver is nowhere to be found. I can't reach him. He's not answering his phone. I don't know what's going on. So I'm like, we got to eat something. I got to figure something out. Mm. <clears throat> I ain't gonna let us go hungry now so I'm like oh my god what can I do I called my friend she was like you can order from Shafet Shafet is like a really really good like fast food place here it's like Barbados fast food place they have KFC they have um Burger King, those are the two that I've seen on the island so far. They have Shafet. Shafet is like their McDonald's. Like, as I like, it's like, it's not like McDonald's, but it's like our McDonald's. Um, like the popularity of it. And I also heard that it's Rihanna's favorite place. She always gets Shafet when she comes to the island. So I'm like, okay, what are we gonna eat? I mean, they got salads and stuff like that, but I was like, I'm starving. Like, it was, I was so hungry. You guys, I was shaking. I felt so bad for the cats. They biting me, they scratching me, they meowing. I'm like, okay, I gotta figure something out. So I ordered Shafat to be delivered to the house. I fed the cats chicken. We eating chicken for two days because I couldn't, my driver was not answering, answering all weekend, and he normally doesn't do that. So I couldn't get into the grocery store. I'm feeding, we eating chicken for two days now. But y'all, when I tell you that Shafet was so bomb, I ordered their ch grilled chicken. I ordered um, roti. I didn't like the roti. I ordered an all chicken roti. I didn't like that. And um, I think I ordered, the, another day I ordered something else and I didn't like that. So immediately after I ate that, I was scared that because I've been vegan all this time, I was scared that I was gonna get sick or I wasn't gonna feel good. I did get stopped up, you guys. That's been the symptom of me so far not being vegan. I've been stopped up. Like I've had, I'm not gonna talk about that, but basically like I've been stopped up. Normally I'm regular every day, multiple times a day I'm regular, but I, I went like three days without going and I'm like, oh God, this stuff is stuck in my stomach. So then, um. <laughs> So then I ate, but I didn't feel bad because it was only grilled chicken. Like I, I had grilled chicken. So then um, I was like, oh, I, I was like, let me eat some watermelon. So I, I had some leftover watermelon in there. So I ate the watermelon and that helped me go to the bathroom. But then I was like, you know what? Just forget it. Like I'm not vegan no more anyway. Like I might as well just continue. So then here we are today, the barrel finally came. Thank God, um, the cats have their food. Everything is good, I got my food, the cats got their food, everything is here. I'm gonna show you guys in another video, excuse me, um, what's everything that's in my barrel. Um, two guys dropped it off, two Bayesian guys dropped it off. Um, I've been going through a couple of things, you guys, a couple of personal things I've been going through. Um, I'm not ready to talk about it right now. I'll talk about it when the time is right. I just want to get on the other side first. You get what I'm saying? So that's pretty much where I'm, I've been. I still love the island. I still love it here. Um, I'm learning that this country is... I'm not going to say it is slow. 
it's nothing slow about this country but it just feel like hurry up and wait that's what it feel like they say they coming in the morning they not coming in the morning the lady told me they'll be there bright and early tomorrow tomorrow morning which is today they didn't get here until like 1 p.m so everything is hurry up and wait um I'm learning in this season of my life, I'm learning patience. I have to be patient in a lot of things. I have to be patient. And I have to like cast my cares on the Lord. That's pretty much what it is for me right now. Hmm. I don't want to do that it's extremely annoying um but it is what it is it is what it is y'all um um a lot of you guys on instagram have been um this is so good y'all a lot of you guys ask me like what's the experience like what is uh what are the men like here um what are the men like here now i'm married so i'm not really looking at anybody or judging anybody or looking for attention or anything like that i have a husband so but i will say anytime i go to the grocery store go out for anything go to a store or anything um I want to say that I get hit on, but you know when somebody finds you attractive, you know when somebody, you know, thinks you're beautiful or anything like that. The Bayesian men here, you guys, are very polite from what I, from my experience. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Um, I can't tell you what dating is like here because I'm not dating, obviously but the Bayesian men are very very polite from my experience i don't know anybody else's experience but from my experience they love they really really appreciate natural beauty they love my hair my locks like i'm talking i could wake up out of bed and my hair like i'm still a little insecure about my hair i can wake up out of bed honey no style no gel no nothing on my hair no earrings no nothing just like just roll right out of bed and i go to the grocery store and these men are just complimenting me like it's not even in a way of just like annoying compliment it's like i like your hair your natural beauty they always say your natural beauty like you're so beautiful i love your natural beauty it's not aggressive it's not like od over the top nothing like that um and you know how like in America, y'all, when an American man find you attractive, honey, especially a black man, y'all already know how they do. Absolutely OD and aggressive. You're not aggressive, like, I've never even had to tell anybody I'm married, I can't, but they don't go too far for me, they don't, they don't overdo it. Now, there was one night where I went to, and I did a vlog on this, I went to Oyston, I went to Oyston on a Friday night. I don't go out or nothing like that you guys i don't do anything i don't do anything i'm married i respect my husband and i don't i still conduct myself as a married woman even though my husband's not here yet but there was one night when i went out to oyster and fish fry which is super popular a lot of people do that a lot of tourists do that and i was um they, it was a guys performing and they were playing music and i was up you know doing my little nigerian dances and stuff like that because they was playing nigerian music afro beat and i was like wow they really play um they really play afro beat here and they play like you know the caribbean stuff too but when i was um dancing or whatever there was a guy that came up to me he was like i was getting ready to come up behind you and start dancing 
and start dancing with you. And I was like, oh, it's okay, I'm married. Thank you anyway. And that was it. Oh, excuse me. And that was it. Nothing crazy, nothing aggressive, nothing, nothing over the top. They're very, very respectful here. And they always, 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 they always, always, always compliment. They always say my natural beauty. They appreciate locks. So many people here have locks, you guys. I fit right in. And I was, my friend was like, don't worry with your locks. I was like, I'm insecure. They look a mess. She was like, don't worry. You fit right in. I'm telling you. And it's true. You do fit in. If you have locks, if you're a woman with locks and you come here, you'll be appreciated for your locks, for your, you know, just natural hair, whatever. Natural hair, natural locks, no makeup or anything. First of all, it's too hot to be wearing any dag on makeup. That's why I was like, I need to get my skin together. <laughs> I was like, I need to get my skin together because, honey, uh-uh, it is too hot. Like, my house feels like an oven still. It, like, it's nothing that I can do, y'all. It's literally, I need to either get more fans, get another AC unit, something. I gotta figure that out. But I just, sometimes I just be like, I don't feel like figuring certain stuff out right now. Mm. The cats, y'all. Let me tell y'all. So let me tell y'all about y'all niece and nephew, Thumbelina and Orion. Mookie, aka Orion, is shedding, you guys, bad. One of the things that was really stressing me out and worrying me is because my cats eat special food. I've been giving them the cheap meow mix cat food, which I don't like meow mix. It's cheap. It tastes good to them. They love it. But it's not good for their stomach and it's not good for them. And I give them the best of the best cat food and wet, dry and wet. So Mookie has been throwing up because it just doesn't agree with his stomach. He's used to eating a certain diet. And um, I just been stressed out about my cats, like their health and everything. But now that the food is here, I can change their diet. I've been feeding the neighborhood cats, you guys. I know I'm not supposed to, but I've been doing it. They're so cute, they're kittens. And I just can't just see them hungry. They're skinny. And you can look at my cats. <laughs> you can look at my cats and tell that they're that they're American cats because these cats out here are thin. Mookie and Orion look. I mean, Mookie and Lena look like obese compared to these other cats. <laughs> look absolutely obese. Mm. Um, so Mookie, you guys, I'm gonna have to shave him. He's never been shaved before, he doesn't need to be shaved. But being here, he's gonna have to get shaved because you guys, he's shedding so bad. I could pet Mookie and a chunk of hair come out. And I was like, on Google, do cats shed more when it's hot? Like, what? My cat is shedding a lot. And they said, yes, cats can shed a lot because they're hot and they're trying to get rid of, their body is trying to get rid of all that extra fur that they don't need in a hotter climate. So, Mookie has been shedding bad. I'm talking like I could pet him and a big clump of hair comes out, so... I want him to be comfortable, so I'm gonna shave him, you guys. <laughs> it's probably gonna be so funny, but I want him to be able to stay cool. I want him to be happy. And um, I want him to be comfortable. Um, it is very, very hot. Another reason why I couldn't film is because it's very, very hot, you guys. Um. We didn't have any rain. Mind you, this was supposed to, I don't know if it's rainy season anymore, but when I first got here, it was raining every day. Every single day it rained, but just for this past week, we've gotten rain maybe three or four times. And I know, I know um, the island was begging for rain because it was hot. I'm talking like 95, very, very hot temperatures, you guys. And it's miserable. It's miserable trying to film when it's hot like that. 
it's just miserable it's very very miserable but thank I, i'm like i said i'm i'm comfortable when i'm not filming i'm comfortable when i'm sitting still if i move around the house you guys it look like i jumped into a pool like if i get from out of the ac if i get from under the fan it looked like I just jumped into a pool. It is hot, 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 hot. Like I'm talking crippling hot. Like you don't want to do nothing. Um, but yeah, you guys, I'm still, even though I'm no longer vegan, I'm still going to monitor some of the things that I eat. Um, we got more protein in us, which is the eggs, chicken, stuff like that. We're going to do seafood. There's certain stuff that I absolutely will be staying away from. I want to stay away from like white pasta. If I do eat pasta, I want to do quinoa pasta or lentil pasta, which I had all that in my barrel, so that's fine. Um, there's just certain stuff that I want to take out of my diet, and I and I've, I'm I'm learning my body, and I'm learning what agrees with me, what doesn't agree with me. So yeah, you guys, I love you all so much. Thank you all for being concerned. Thank you all for worrying about me, loving on me, praying for me. Um, my husband and I, we are still married. We're still in love. We're still happy. We just have some, certain challenges that we have to get through. But I just want to let you guys know, I am madly head over heels in love with my husband. Ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low, ain't no river wide. Baby, if you need me, call me No matter where you are No matter how far Don't worry, baby Just call out my name I'll be there in a hurry You don't have to worry Honey, ain't no mountain high, okay? Honey, I will wait as long as I need to wait, honey I love my man. Can't nobody tell me nothing about my man Can't nobody tell me, oh, he's uh this, he's that we're solid when i tell you guys that's how i know i'm in love i've never i've loved guys before i probably thought i was in love before but i am in love with my husband deeply severely crazy in love like super in love i will wait as however long i need to wait I will do things to keep myself busy until this, until God says it's time or until whatever. Like, I don't know. Like, I've been kind of like irritated because I'm like, God would not bring us this far to turn us back. There's no way God would bring us this far. Like, I don't believe that. Like, I just keep telling myself, like, I don't believe that. Like, I just don't believe it. And I told you guys that I feel like I'm learning patience right now in this time of my life. I'm just learning patience, patience, patience. You guys, it's been five months since I seen my husband. Five months since I kissed my husband's lips, since I hugged my husband, since I since I had any type of male interaction. Honey, your girl is struggling, okay? <laughs> as you can imagine, as you can imagine, I've never been in a long distance relationship before, let alone a long distance marriage, you guys. I'd be like, Lord, what is it that you're trying to teach me? What is it that you're trying to teach me right now? Because I never thought that I was an impatient person, but Lord, am I, have I been an impatient person? I come to Barbados and I have to be patient with a lot of things. With a lot of things, I have to be patient. I have to understand that this is a country where they operate the way they operate. But I love it here. I love, I love being in my kitchen and little mommy and baby monkey be coming up on the window, just looking at me, sniffing whatever I'm cooking. I love opening my front door and there's a beautiful breeze that comes in. I love seeing the beautiful scenery. Everywhere I look is beautiful. Beautiful plants, beautiful everything. I love, um, I'm feeding the cats, you guys, the kittens. They come up on the porch and they just get a little bit, they were first a little bit scared, but now they just be eating and stuff. And I just love that. I'll just, I love it. It's, I'm, I'm surrounded by nature and beautiful things and if I'm sad or something like that, I could just call my driver. He could take me to the beach or whatever, and I can just enjoy myself at the beach. There's plenty to do here. This is a beautiful country. Beautiful, beautiful country, and I love it. And, um, you know, I've been feeling a little discouraged lately. I'm not going to lie. I have been feeling a little discouraged um, just because of the delay with my barrel. I felt like a failure having to eat that meat. But, honey, when the dog is hungry, the dog will eat. You want to eat. You're not going to just go hungry. So, and the same thing with the cats. 
Y'all, I felt so bad. All I had, I didn't have no food. All I had was like, um, I was Googling, what can cats eat if you don't have no food? And they said you could do, um, all I had was quinoa. They said you could do carrots, peas, um, just different things, a whole list of things that they said. The only thing I had was carrots and quinoa. Child, I made them some carrots and quinoa, honey. They looked in that bowl and said we would go hungry. We ain't eating that. So they went a whole day without eating, y'all. And then um, they didn't want it. So then I ordered some chicken and then they ate that. And Thumbelina is so excited that I'm eating meat now because now she, I'm in the kitchen cooking and she's smelling it and she be crying in the kitchen. Honey, when I was a vegan, honey, she don't care. <laughs> she could care less. But now that I'm cooking meat and I bought some shrimp and stuff like that, oh honey, she's gonna have a fit when I start making that shrimp. But yes, you guys, overall, everything is great. You guys, the ring is on. The ring is not going nowhere. We solid, we good, we love each other. Um, we're just a typical married couple. You know what I'm saying? We're a married couple. We are, we're dealing with distance. The distance is taking a toll on us. It really is, five months. Like it's really taking a toll on us and it's like, things that are out of our control. It's things that are out of our control. If we can control it, he would have been here by now. He would have absolutely been here by now. But there was a couple of obstacles that he went through that was out of his control. He didn't He didn't have no control over it. Um, and that's what we had to deal with. So we're just taking it as we come. You know what I'm saying? What you think, I'm gonna give up on my husband? Absolutely not, I'm not. That's my husband. I'm riding out. I'm riding till the wheels fall off with that man. That's my man. I love him. And can't nobody change my mind about it. I am in love with my husband. Nobody, nothing or nobody can say anything to make me change my mind about who I married, what, I, what I'm dealing with. I knew what I was up against. Um, no, I didn't know. I, some of the stuff that we've been dealing with that's been out of our control, I didn't know that I was gonna deal with that. I had no idea. But hey, we in it, we dealing with it. God is gonna make a way. God is not gonna bring us this far. I'm telling you guys, God is not gonna bring us this far. I'm keeping my faith, I'm keeping everything. Um, we're solid. Or I don't know why you got, why some of you guys always think the absolute worst when certain things happen. Um, your mind doesn't have to go straight to the marriage didn't work. Or your mind doesn't have to go straight to uh, we were, we're getting a divorce or something crazy like that. You guys, I promise you, if it was something like that, I would tell you when the time is right. Um, if my husband is out here doing some crazy stuff, um, I promise you, I'm not the type of person, you guys should know by now, I'm not the type of person to just let, let, me, let anybody do me any kind of way. I'm not. I'm not that person. I don't care how in love I am. If, if my husband was doing me dirty, I, pr I don't have to deal with nonsense. I don't. So if my husband was ever doing, please understand this. If my husband was ever doing something, if I found out that my husband was ever doing something that 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 just is, is a deal breaker for me, I promise you, I would not deal with it. Because I don't have to. And you don't have to put up with, with nonsense either. And I'm not saying any of this to convince you because I don't have anything to convince you about um, when it comes to my marriage. But I'm letting you know, we're solid, we're good, we're happy. We miss each other uncontrollably. We miss each other really, 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 really bad. Like bad, 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 bad. Um, but overall, you guys, Barbados is amazing. Um, I'm going to get out there. I have some videos coming on the Fibarizimas this week um there'll be one coming out tomorrow i'll be back for the rest of the month you guys i'm not vegan anymore i got my barrel now so there's no reason why i wouldn't be here tomorrow we're having seafood we're gonna start doing recipes and stuff like that um a body is bodying that's the update you guys i love y'all come visit barbados barbados is a tourist country Come visit, it's plenty to do. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Very, very gorgeous. Um, if you want to, if you guys are having fertility issues and you want to, and you going to, to try the IVF and you priced it out in America and they said it's X amount of dollars, Barbados, you can, you can they, have a they have a clinic here that people from all over the world go to. They end up having twins and 
a healthy baby, older women having babies from here. Um, so that's a tip for you guys to check it out. Um, if you want to get fertility treatment that's affordable, you can do that here in Barbados. Um, I love Barbados. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. There's just little obstacles and little things I have to get used to. I don't feel unsafe. I feel happy. Everybody's like I don't feel like any harm or anything. I feel peaceful. I don't. I feel at peace. I feel happy, sound, and um, everything feels so good. Just the only thing is, I miss my husband terribly. You guys, like, I miss him so, so much, so, 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 so much. I never would have thought in a million years that I would be in a long distance marriage. I never thought anything like that. Um, but God is going to close the distance with us very, very soon. Very, 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 very soon. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for your prayers, for your love. Um, thank you for everything, you guys. I love you all so very much. I hope you all are doing well. Hope you guys are healthy, happy, and um, living your best life. Um, I love you all so much. There's really nothing else that I can say now. I will see you tomorrow, and I love you all so much. Bye! Mwah.